Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be denesting a radical, a cube root of a number. Now there are formulas for denesting square roots and by denesting I just mean that we have the cube root of cube root of something, we're going to turn it into a single cube root or in this case it's going to be a little different obviously, but that's the main idea. Now there are formulas for the square roots but I do not think there is a formula in general for cube roots, correct me if I'm wrong. But this problem is kind of interesting and the solution that I'm going to be presenting is going to be different from the mainstream solutions uh, which also appears in a book, so kind of like an official solution because, and I'm pretty sure other YouTubers um, took this problem and they made a video about it. But I want to present something different and because the main method basically uses substitution. You replace something with something else and go from there. But that doesn't look very intuitive to me and I kind of didn't like that solution so I wanted to come up with something different. Uh, so I kind of, you know, uh, broke it down and maybe uh, modified it in a different way. Anyway, so here's how it goes and let me know what you think because this is going to be very different. And by the way, when I looked at the solutions that are usually done by many people uh, that didn't look uh, like a good idea to me because how on earth are you going to figure out like what to call what for right i mean uh, you can check it out uh, if i find i'll share the solution with you as well uh, anyways so let's go ahead and denest this radical and by the way the original statement of the problem is also different than this because i didn't want to give away what the solution is going to look like but i'll show you what the official problem statement is at the end okay let's get started so to be able to solve this problem we're going to start with something that looks like the inside but with a plus sign in other words that is going to be the conjugate okay so i'm going to go ahead and take cube root of 2 plus 1 and cube it now again you might be wondering like where does this come from right but when I do, you're going to see the reasoning behind it. When we basically, oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, where does this problem come from, right? Well, this problem is from Armel 1997, which is American Regions Math League. If you search it up, you're going to find a lot of results. And I believe on their website, uh, they also have uh, a collection of problems from previous years and they made it kind of public. So you can definitely go ahead and download that PDF and if I... Uh, don't forget, I'll share the link with you down below. But if you search for it, you'll definitely find something. So, we're going to start by cubing this sum. And let's go ahead and do that here. The cube root of 2 plus 1 cubed. And remember the formula for a, a plus b cubed from binomial theorem, or you can use my version, it doesn't matter. Let's use the binomial theorem, which says a plus b cubed is equal to a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. So let's go ahead and apply that formula. If you cube cube root of 2, you're going to get 2 plus 3 times the cube root of 2 squared, which is 4, multiplied by 1. I don't really need to write it, but let's just write it. 3 times the cube root of 2 times 1 squared. Again, you don't need to write it. You can just write 1 plus b cubed, which is 1 again. So something interesting happens here because 2 plus 1 is equal to 3, and we have two threes here, which means this is actually going to be factorable. So let's go ahead and write it as follows. 3 plus, and I probably want to start with the cube root of 4. So let's write it as 3 times the cube root of 4 plus 3 times the cube root of 2 plus 3 times 1. Make sense? Now 3 is a common factor, so let's go ahead and take it out. Now this is still going to be the cube root of 2 plus 1 cubed, but with the 3 out, you're going to hopefully realize something nice is coming up, right? You remember that expression? If you are familiar with sum of two cubes and difference of two cubes, you should definitely recognize this. But if not, I'll show you what it means. Don't worry. Now, we're going to go ahead and multiply both sides by the conjugate of this expression on the right-hand side. Now, what am I talking about? Again, I don't want to get into substitution, but let me tell you something. If you multiply cube root of 4 plus cube root of 2 plus 1 by cube root of 2 minus 1 and distribute the whole thing, guess what you're going to get from here? You're going to get 2 minus 1, which is 1. 
Let me quickly tell you what it means. This is probably the only place we're going to use substitution and real quick. So if we call this a, this is going to be like a squared plus a plus one multiplied by a minus one. And as you, you should know, this is equivalent to a cubed minus one, which is two minus one, which is one. Awesome. So let's go ahead and do that. Multiply both sides by cube root of two minus one. And then the right hand side is just going to equal three times one. Make sense? OK, so let's go ahead and move this stuff out of the way. Let's see. I could probably use this tool here. Let's move it out of the way a little bit. Let's erase these. And then we're going to go ahead and multiply both sides by something. And I probably should erase it too. OK, we're going to multiply by cube root of 2 minus 1 without the cube, by the way. And on the right hand side, we'll do the same thing. So I probably should bring it back a little bit because I need room on the right hand side. I just realized. And here I'm going to multiply by the same thing, which is cube root of 2 minus 1. OK, now these two things is going to give me 2 minus 1, which is 1. So we don't have to worry about it. This is just going to be 3. So this is the most critical part. So far, if you got this, then the rest should be fairly easy. Now we got this so far. Cube root of 2 plus 1 cubed multiplied by cube root of 2 minus 1 to the first power equals a 3. OK, now remember, the expression we're trying to denest is this one under the radical, right? So let's go ahead and isolate that. Doesn't that make sense? Cube root of 2 minus 1 can be now written as 3 over cube root of 2 plus 1 cubed. So far, so good. OK, now here's the critical part. Since we want to denest the cubic root or cube root, let's cube root both sides. So let's go ahead and cube root here and here. And when we do that, this cube is going to disappear. And we're going to have cube root of 3 in the numerator. So here's what we're going to get. Cube root of the cube root of 2 minus 1, which is what we're trying to denest, is going to equal the cube root of 3 divided by the cube root of 2 plus 1 cubed. So far, so good? OK, awesome. Now, obviously, I shouldn't write the cube there because we already cube rooted. Yes, here we go. So that's the expression. Why do I need parentheses? Because I'm going to multiply this by something. Now, here is the important part. We're going to multiply this by the conjugate of this expression this time. What is the conjugate for cube root of 2 plus 1? Hopefully, you recognize that. If this is a plus 1, then it's a squared minus a plus 1. Or you can multiply this by cube root of 4 minus cube root of 2 plus 1. Just get used to uh, being able to do these things without uh, resorting to substitution. I know it's hard sometimes if you're not used to this, but trust me, it's a very important skill. OK, so now we're going to go ahead and multiply the bottoms, right? These two things is going to give me what? This time we're going to get cube root of 2 cubed plus 1 cubed because this is the formula for sum of two cubes. But that's just 2 plus 1, which is a 3, right? Awesome. Now, what's going to happen from here? We're going to get a 3 at the bottom. Nice. Let's rewrite it. Cube root of cube root of 2 minus 1 equals, and in the numerator, we just need to distribute, right? If you multiply the cube roots, they're like radicals, so we can multiply them. Cube root of 12 minus cube root of 6, 3 times 2, plus cube root of 3. All of that is divided by 3. Isn't that cool? We're almost there. Let's just do a little bit of manipulation. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to write the 3 at the bottom as the cube root of something, so we can split this up into sum of cube roots. That's the goal, right? That's what we mean by denesting. So here we go. The cube root of the cube root of 2 minus 1 equals, now we're going to write this as cube root of 27. Let me do that real quick here, so we don't have to write the whole thing, because that's going to be too long. And now we're going to split it up like this. Cube root of 12 over cube root of 27 minus cube root of 6 over cube root of 27 plus cube root of 3 divided by cube root of 27. And now we're going to divide these and uh, put it under the same radical. So it's going to be cube root of 12 over 27 minus cube root of 6 over 27 plus cube root of 3 over 27. And when we simplify, this is the expression we were trying to find, we're going to get cube root of 4 over 9 minus the cube root of 2 over 9 plus 
the cube root of 1 over 9. So this is basically our cube root denested and, and written as a sum of 3 cube roots. Let's go ahead and look at the official statement of the problem and then we'll basically finish up with that. And let me tell you something. This problem is from Armel and you can find Armel books and many other Olympiad prep books on my Amazon page. Go ahead and check it out. I'll also share the link down below in the description. All right. So the official statement for this problem was if the cube root of cube root of 2 minus 1 is written as the cube root of A plus the cube root of B plus the cube root of C where A, B, C are rational numbers, compute the sum. So B is obviously negative in this case. And if you just add these numbers up, 4 ninths, negative 2 ninths and 1 ninth, you're going to get the answer, which is 3 ninths, by the way, and that's going to be 1 third. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.